see how I did. Only about uh, three buckets. We already lost all our sunlight down here. Let's see what it says. Down to the bottom. Oh, I see some color. Not bad. Not bad for like an hour. Three bucket loads. Nice color to it. Nice looking pieces. It's a lot in there. Imagine that whole uh, place is loaded. I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Look, ancient gold miner footprints leading right to a spot right there. Must have where he died at.
custom inventions there that I make and sell around 80 bucks don't underestimate it I've that had thing. this thing for so long I've had it for like easily two years not that long but two years PVC pipe is still holding up and doing its job how much gold do you think you've got with that? <laughs> probably at least an ounce just of nuggets it's not including fines, but I mean, you know, it didn't cost us much to make and we made a lot of money with it. So that's definitely worth 80 bucks, that's for sure. We made it cost about $40 to produce each one of those. Yeah, about like 40 or 50 bucks. That's nothing when you're getting nuggets every time with it. Who cares? I mean, I don't think I've used this thing and not gotten a chunk. At least, you know, at least a small one, at least. I never got skunked. That's so why I know if I'm in a spot and I'm using my sluice box and I ain't getting nothing and there's bedrock, I can always just get the hand dredge and at least find something for sure. That's guaranteed. A lot of material. This is about average. This is how much I was able to suck up with it. You know, this was a full, all the way filled. It was getting hard to suck up anything more. But, I mean, that's a hefty handle. So. Let's see what's in it. This is uh, Jason's panning technique. Everybody has their own. And of course he was taught by me. And he modified my technique into his own. fine gold and the light stuff you gotta go slow and be sure and shake it down every couple of washes to make sure that gold keeps settling and I like to fan it out over the riffle so it's somewhat flat so you can just uh, let the water pull the blondes off the top until you see black sand and then shake it back like he's doing there and, and uh, do it again Being how the gold pan is the worst recovery tool that there is, you want to do it as carefully as you can. Not like some of these other guys you see them pan it out in uh, less than a minute. If you want everything you got, and to be a true sample of what you got, you need to do it carefully and slowly.
I've got panty down, but still, even in my clean out the panty, I'll re-run it through my sluice and find gold all the time that I'd miss.